All right, guys, we're going to talk about sisters. Welcome to Kamisha Reviews. Hello, everybody. Happy holidays. How you doing? All of that. Let's get into sisters. Okay, let's just get right into it. Gary, once again, is there. Um, not wanting to leave. You know, questioning her. You asked him to come over. So when he comes in, um, it's going to be a problem. You know, because he should have just left. You know, she's saying it's done. You're talking to crazy while he's in jail. We're done. We're a wrap. Yes, somebody else is over here. We're done. You want your money? I'll give it to you tomorrow. Goodbye. And instead, he's like, you know, oh, my God. But you're not telling him to leave. You're telling me to leave. Being a child. Being a child like Gary always is, bro. I'm like, oh, my God. He is such a child. And I'm looking at Andy like, and all women, women who've been through this, was like, she still loves Gary, regardless of how he's acting right now. You know, and then he putting putting his hands on her where she had to go almost completely back. Like, I thought he was going to hit her. Being possessive like that, a woman like that's your possession, like, like that's an object, and that is actually a woman that you are having affectionate for or whatever. You love her, but that's not your possession, that's not your toy, that's not, it's weird. And I can't, I just think it's horrible that men or anybody would act with that towards somebody that they care about. So <clears throat> here comes the fight, you know, because he doesn't want to leave. You know, it, it, eventually, Gary's gone, and he's on the rails, and they're sitting there, and she's icing his hand, and she tells him to leave. Like I said, it's too much. It's, it's way too much. So she goes to bed. Okay, but look, let me not skip ahead. Let me let me talk about Miss, Miss, Miss Karen. I really like the relationship that she has going here with Preacher. Uh, Aaron, I think it is, it's just nice. Like, they're going to go to bed together. They're not going to do a thing. They're going to be intimate, but intimate as far as physical. They're just on that. They're just like, we don't have a stats, we don't have a name. Like she said, we're, we're just going to see how, we're going to just let it flow and see what happens. And he's down with it, so they're on the same page. And he gets up in the middle of the night. Like everybody does, go to the bathroom, whatever. And she looks, she sees Gary sitting there at her, at the, you know, just sitting on the bar, drinking, drunk. She was like, how did you get in here? He's like, oh, I have like several keys. She's like, Okay, getting the logs changed. Why don't you go ahead and go? He said he has nowhere to go. His wife, his wife took everything from him. He doesn't have anything. He gave her all his money. He has nothing. He said, I just want to come lay down with you. He just done this little, I want to lay down with you. And she's like, no, you can sleep on the couch. He said, no, I don't want to sleep. Can I really? He's being such a child. After everything that you've done and how you acted, you seriously think you have the right to lay down in the same bed? Like, be happy. You're even still in here. He's like, oh, you didn't call the police. That proves you still love me. Yes. There's no way her feelings can be turned off just like that. Yes, she still loves him. But is she done with the crap? Yes. she. She's done. Let's move on. So, the part that really got me is... When he started to hug her, he started to hug her, and she was saying, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Stop. And I can just tell because she's a very small woman, and he's a very strong man. And and he just, I was like, my sister, oh, my God, he is, like, crazy, and he's going to hug her to death because he realizes that she does not want to be with him. And he is just hugging her so tight, and she's saying, stop. And then when... You hear her, she's coughing, she can't breathe. Then she's laying 
well, she's not laying there. She's limp in his arm, literally limp. I'm just like, oh my God, please don't tell me that he killed her. That's the way it looks. And so, I want to talk about real quick. Uh, well, I know he said he told he told Daniel call me rodeo, but I, I don't know. I still call him rodeo. She said don't call me white, but they went back and forth. But he really he's really telling her what it is and how he, what he how he feels and what he wants, and she needs to hear that. And I guess she did sleep with the little dude because you know he was talking about you know she, she he he did what he did behind the back, and and you had just come home and being out. I was like that was some real stuff. That was some real tea because I was like oh so they actually did get down. Did he just do that from the back thing? That's all he wanted, but they didn't do the you know the other stuff. I was like oh lord, so she really wanted to get it in. She come out shower ready. Then it was like look. So anyway, getting back to Karen and get back to Aaron, they're still talking in the bed and talking about their situation and, you know, coming to agreement. And all of a sudden he gets a phone call. I guess they had fallen asleep and his phone's blowing up. Mm. This, this coffee is so good. So his phone is blowing up. And she was like, <clears throat> uh, Karen's like, somebody's calling you. You need to, you know, see who it is. So then he actually gets the phone and it's scary. I guess that's somebody, you know, he's in a group or whatever. He's calling him. He's like, man, I don't, I, I did something. I, I don't, I don't know. I just love her. I, 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 and Aaron's like, well, what did you do? And at first, you know, Karen's just listening. And then all of a sudden he's like, you know, what'd you do to Andy? And then she was like, well, is that Gary? You know, he's like, yeah. He said, that's, that's your Andy. They realized he's like, yo, what'd you do to Andy? Karen starts calling Andy. Of course she's not answering. Look, let's get over to uh, Brina. I think that's cute. One thing, Sabrina is completely towed up drunk. She sold it to Maurice's house. And she's like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to stay over here. I'm drunk. And, you know, Maurice, she knows some blood on the table. She was like, Maurice, where's the blood coming from? And then, you know, he ends up showing, because, like, you know, he has access to the um, the video at the bank. They both were at the bank. And access on the computer, and he actually uh, shows um, him beating the crap out of a boy. And Brina's looking at it. And Sabrina's like, oh my God. And then she said, look at the live feed, he's still there. And he was like, okay. Um, she's like, he's not moving. We need to go check on him. So they fly over there. He's laying down and look, Maurice did not get out of the car. He threw his purse at Sabrina and said, you need to find you a ride home. And she hit and he left. And she's sitting there over him, like trying to kick him, wake him up. He ain't moving or nothing. So, and speaking of Sabrina, Calvin is, I didn't, I was like, oh, he got down. He took uh, the lady that he was going on a date with. They all in the bed, but ain't nothing happening, if you know what I'm saying. And, she, you know, she, he's being real and saying, you know, it's because of the ladies that you saw, the one the braids saw my Sabrina. He couldn't even do nothing because he's thinking about her. And started having a conversation in bed, ended up cuddling, kind of, not spooning, but I don't know, cuddling together and everything. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, the important thing, especially about this scene with Gary, because a lot of people are going to probably say, oh, she should have left. Or some kind of way, because some people do that. I, I'm not saying everyone's going to do that, I said, but there may be. And to me, I feel like this. She was trying to remove herself from this situation she was trying to remove herself she was trying to um whatever she was and she pretty much was there now she didn't know about having the keys and, and and stuff like that there would be no way for you to plan that now i don't know if i would have changed the locks after but so much was going on she had just got back her apartment she didn't know that he was out so a lot of circumstances, and maybe and people might say she should have called the police after she after he left. When she said she did, she should have actually did it. Because a situation like that, he'll be like, oh, you wouldn't do that to me. You wouldn't call the police, I'd go to jail again, but yet you would come over there and you would put your you would hurt her. And so this relationship 
as much as we want to say, oh, this, you know, we would not know what to do if we was in that same position. It's just, and the fact her, 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 um, her friends, I feel like have been trying to protect her this whole entire time. I flash back to last year, we spoke about the college situation. I really feel like that they were afraid that this Gary thing was gonna be a repeat of whatever it is they have not said. And on the scenes that they show from next time, Karen and Aaron rush to Annie's place and they open the door and they don't show us, but they both are like, so I mean, of course they do, they do this as a cliffhanger, but I don't know what they found as it is like. Uh, I'm not sure if it was an interruption is recording. I got a phone call. So as it is, like I said, it's just, it's just bad. It's bad all the way around. It's bad. So I'm hoping that she's alive. But even if she is alive, there's going to be a lot of work to be done with this situation as far as keeping him out of her life. And then oh, he's on the phone with Aaron. He's driving really fast. And he said, I can't do it anymore. He's crying, speeding. And then you hear a crash on the phone. And then the phone hangs up. So I don't know if he crashed, did something because he thinks he did something to Andy that was permanent. I, I don't know. This, it also says this, no matter how high your position is, you know, women of color, women, period. It doesn't matter your position or anything. This, this happens every day. And that's very, very unfortunate. The fact that they're highlighting these types of stories, especially in this series, is, is wonderful. There's that happened to Maurice. The fact that he got a chance to fight back, and now I don't know what the what's gonna happen. What we'll, hopefully he's still alive too. I want to talk about Fatima. I think Fatima hanging out with the girls made her start to think about relationships a little bit and change a little bit. She just started thinking, I think. And when she was looking for Zach, I genuinely think she was looking for Zach to maybe try something. I think for her to let her walls down and to trust somebody, it takes a lot because she's been just on her own for a long time. But that little visit that Zach got completely messed things up. Because now he has his shield up and he's like, whoa, he doesn't want to lose anything. He's very serious about this. And he's afraid if he gets too involved with Fatima, he will lose it all. And Fatima has no idea that he was even spoken to or told about this, which is also messed up. And I hope she finds out in the next episode. I hope she finds out that he went and talked to him. And that wasn't his right to do that. Another man being possessive over, an, <clears throat> over a human being that does not belong. To that man, seriously, I, it is really ridiculous. So, so much is happening as far as sisters. I don't know what's gonna happen. We have one more episode, one more episode and we are gonna be done with season two. So, all right, guys, y'all, thank you for supporting me through this whole thing. I have been, like, hustling and bustling. Now I just signed up for college, y'all. I mean, like, I got my acceptance letter, period. And I'm excited about that. And I got my blogging I'm doing, you know, which is also getting bigger. And then my job, which, mm -hmm. So. A lot going on, so y'all bear with me in my little green. I'm trying to I'm trying to set things up. I keep finding different spots. It's cold, and y'all forgive me. I threw it together. Don't drag me, but if you do, I will. <laughs> it's all good. It's not a big deal to me. You know, but I do want to represent and show which is true, how it is. I have been typing in a few of my lives so y'all can see the new emojis I added for us. I even have an emoji for Commission Reviews Crew, where it actually has the name Commission Reviews Crew inside of a TV. So if you join the membership, you can use different emojis that I have made up, especially for us, that you can type in the chat with, even in comments that lives and videos have already dropped. 
okay so anyways this is the video i'm dropping today i'm gonna drop a couple of more because i gotta work tonight baby okay i still work and grind and i will also come back to you guys this weekend for the interview and also um reviews from all the shows for friday uh ready to love and put a ring on it so you guys enjoy the rest of your day make sure you guys wear a mask wash your hands wear your gloves i would say gloves if you can afford it to get goggles from amazon that's also a ppe it's the same thing Almost the same thing as wearing the whole shield, goggles, and a mask. It's extra cover. Plus, you know what? It's cold outside for a lot of you places. Why not cover your face up? You know what I'm saying? To keep the cold out. Anyway, period. So, anyway, uh, unless you have a Merry Christmas, it's coming up very soon as well. <laughs> okay. And once again, I appreciate the love. But they said I'm not good enough. I took all the energy, turned it to greatness. I look at my life, man, it's looking amazing. I'm ready for anything, anyone. I've been so ready for everything I become. When I was stuck, I had no other option. Believed in myself when the shit wasn't popping. I got it like that. Who you know got it like that? Who you know getting degrees and they rapping like they got diplomas and rap. Made it this far and I still got a lot to accomplish. In fact, and I know they believe it. I'm talking arenas from LA to Sweden. I